You're on a game show and you're asked to choose between three doors. Behind one door is a car. And behind the other two are goats. You don't know which door contains the car. Let's say you choose the first door. The host, Monty Hall, will then open one of the other two doors. He knows what's behind each door and always chooses a door with a goat. Monty now gives you a choice. Stay with your original door or switch to the other unopened door. What should you do? This question confused even PhD holding mathematicians when it was first published. So maybe you'd have better luck on the less popular Mandy Hill Show, which features a similar problem, but with 20 doors. There's still just one car. Again, let's say you pick the first door. Your door very likely contains a goat, which means the other doors very likely contain 18 goats and one car. Mandy will now open 18 doors, knowing each contains a goat. Should you switch or stay? It's still very likely that the car is behind one of these 19 doors, but it's not behind any of the doors that Mandy opened, so it's very likely to be behind just this particular door. So you should definitely switch to it. In fact, if you switch, you have a 19 in 20 chance of winning the car, versus a 1 in 20 chance if you don't. Now let's return to the original problem. The same reasoning from the 20 door problem applies here. Your door is more likely to contain a goat than a car. The other doors are more likely to contain a goat and a car than two goats. So even after Monty opens the door with the goat, it's still more likely than not that one of these doors contains a car, but only the unopened one can, so switch to it. Switching gives you a two in three chance of winning versus a one in three chance if you don't switch. Think you've got it? Try out more variants of this game at brilliant.org.